Hey everyone, Sarah Grace back here with you on Freshman Healthy YouTube and today we're just going to be talking about the hardest principle there probably is of the intuitive eating series and that is loving your body, respecting your body, and accepting the blueprint that you've been given. Alright, so in my first intuitive eating video with Tracy Brown, we talked a little bit about this and that's just the fact that we all have to love and accept the body we've been given. I kind of like the quote of life isn't always fair when I start talking about this principle. But then at the same time, I don't like that mindset going into this principle because yes, we all have been given different blueprints and different bodies that we need to accept and love, but I don't believe there is any perfect body. So you shouldn't be jealous or shouldn't think that it's not fair that you don't have what she has or what she has over there or the legs that she has or the skin that she has. And sometimes it can be really hard. It's hard not to fall into the comparison game. And you know, even me, I, I there's multiple times where I've had to catch myself and get myself back on track when you're scrolling through those feeds, when you're around people that are really successful, when you're around people that are really beautiful. And you know, I love this one quote I found and it was, yeah, she's beautiful and so am I. She's beautiful like her and I'm beautiful like me. There's just so many different kinds of beautiful. And if there's one thing I wanna get across in this video, it's that you are beautiful and you have to, have to, have to believe that yourself before any of this intuitive eating will work for you. Because I can sit here all day long and wish that I had a butt like her, or that I had the perfect skin like that girl over there, or that I had the blue eyes that my best friend has instead of these brown eyes. But it's not gonna change anything, and all that's gonna do is make me unhappy and that's gonna make me feel unsatisfied and that's gonna make me continuously compare myself to other people and comparison does lead to destruction so as we go about this intuitive eating principle of respecting and accepting your own body and your own blueprint we have to get in this mindset that we're no longer gonna compare ourselves that we're going to love our bodies the exact body that we've been given and yes it's good to have goals like eating more nutritious and working out more in order to be healthy and live a healthy lifestyle. But at the same time, you should be happy with what you already have before you ever try to make changes. Because no change, no point will you ever be happy and satisfied with yourself if you don't love yourself right here and right now. It's always good to feel stronger, to feel better, to feel just more confident. And I love to work with people to get you to a place like that. But I always tell the people that I coach, number one, first off, let's get you to a place right here and right now that you love yourself and that you love your body. And then we'll work on small changes towards making you feel better and more confident. And that comes with both physical changes and mental changes. And I love working on both spectrums with people. So this week, I want you guys to commit to Stop comparing yourself and every time you do find yourself comparing yourself to someone else and wishing you had that aspect or that characteristic of someone else, stop yourself right then and there and say, I love myself, I love my body and write down five positive traits about you that you love. And I know that sounds so silly, but I'm telling you it will do a world of a difference to begin recognizing and just jotting down all those traits about you that are positive and that you love. Because we have to get to a place of self-love before you can start listening to your body and rejecting the diet mentality completely. You will always be stuck in this diet mode and this diet mentality and wanting to starve yourself or restrict yourself, which a lot of times leads to binge eating. If you don't already have that self-love and that self-confidence just in who you already are. So today's challenge and this week's challenge, stop the comparison game, recognize it when it's happening, and write down five things about yourself that you love and stand in the mirror and say those things out loud to yourself about yourself. Okay guys, and when we start beginning to feel free and 
just feeling like we love ourselves and we accept ourselves and we cherish the bodies we've been given, that's when we can truly begin to intuitively eat. So until next time guys, comment below how you fed your emotions without food like we talked about in last week's video. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, subscribe if you aren't already and share this video with someone that you think needs to deal with accepting themselves, with loving themselves, and just cherishing who they are and the body that they've been given. Bye guys.